When I visited their hometown, Qifu, recently, I interviewed him and asked the modern day man about his ancestor, the legendary man. At the end of our conversation, he, the 76th generation young political scientist, said, you know what I would ask him, meaning his world famous ancestor, if I had a chance? I would ask him, has man a future? In Chinese. That question took me by surprise. Quite a pleasant one. Because as a journalist, come to think about it, I've been talking to so many big names or people from different walks of life, really. But that is the underlining question in every conversation. And it becomes such an urgent question in recent years. Well, the capability to find answers to that question collectively in the world is becoming increasingly questionable. When we need it the most, as pandemics, geopolitics, and dangerous information bubbles fragment our lives. As many of you know, the spring and autumn and the warring states is one of the longest dynasties in ancient Chinese history. It's recalled today as a time of turbulence and chaos. More than 140 rival states locked in bloody wars. It was under these dire conditions that Confucius, along with his peers, began to nurture their ideas and speak out about them. For one, Confucius put Ren at the top of priorities. It was the most lacking at the time. It epitomizes an individual who is internally good and empathetic, and he has a big potential for compassion. He also focused on virtuous character, one who would sacrifice himself for his principles. But Confucius fell short of saving China then. Yet he had the guts to encourage everyone to believe in those qualities at a time when the rules of the jungle seem to be the rule of the human world. The state of Qin eventually unified China according to history, took advantage of legalism rather than Confucianism. By the way, legalism was upheld by political realists of the time who sought to attain a rich state and a powerful army to ensure domestic stability in a turbulent age. Don't worry, everybody. I'm not going to lecture you on the ABCs of ancient Chinese philosophy. But what we need to know, at least, is that Confucius, together with what is known as a hundred schools of thought, included Confucianism, Taoism, legalism, and etc. They collectively provide answers to a desperate, crisis-hit world of their time. Self-discovery, self-awareness, and self-esteem of our own cultures, these are not only important for the ones from those cultures, it is also a great service to all as we need to bring the utmost creativity and diversity among us all to deal with the challenges we face today.